Good morning, Freedom High School. I'm Katherine Schiffer. And I'm Tegan Ryan. This is your news for the week of April 11, 2023. Hey, Tegan, today is National Pet Day. <laughs> oh, wow, that's awesome. Everyone, go make sure you hug your dog, bond with your bunny, and cut your cat some catnip. The FHS Angel 34 Warriors are hosting a dodgeball tournament against our crosstown rivals, Liberty. The event will take place at Liberty on April 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. You must have a team of six people to play. The cost is $5 per person and $30 per team to sign up. Please see Ms. Ryan in room 223 during block two or right after school. All proceeds will be donated to the Angel 34 Foundation. This Friday, April 14th, is a day of silence. Hosted by GSA, a day of silence is a day to demonstrate what is lost when the LGBTQ plus people are silenced. On this special day, all participants take a vow of silence throughout the entire school day. The day before, April 13th, they will have a table at all lunches, eager to meet anyone interested in the cause. On the day of silence, April 14th, they will be tabling at all lunches with a special pledge. If you sign up and agree to stand up for the LGBTQ plus rights, you get a sticker. They hope to see you there. Prom this year is on May 12th, 2023 at ArtQuest Center at Steel Stacks from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Tickets will be on sale outside of the cafeteria during all lunches until Friday, April 28th. This is the absolute last day to buy tickets. Ticket price will be $90 each and will include drinks, dinner, dessert, a 360 photo booth, and more. All students of the Freedom High School are required to pay their class dues prior to purchasing a prom ticket or having a ticket purchased for them. Please contact your class advisors if you have any questions regarding this matter. If you are bringing a guest from any other school, please pick up a guest form from the prom bulletin board in the Canon Lobby. This must be filled out and ready before purchasing the ticket. Seniors, remember you have four days left to get your community service hours in. 60 hours are required to graduate and 135 hours if you want to get the silver cord. Here are some of the opportunities you can do to obtain those hours. Hey seniors, do you want to be featured in this year's senior issue of the Freedom Forum? We want to highlight as much of the senior class as possible. Go to www.tinyurl.com slash FHS Seniors 2023 to let us know who you are. The deadline is May 5th. One more thing, seniors, make sure you're checking Navions for scholarships. Guidance will continue to add scholarships to this list throughout the spring, so continue to check this. Currently, there are a lot of scholarships listed that are available with upcoming deadlines. The directions on how to apply are linked in Navions. The Freedom High School's theater company, Beauty and the Beast, is right around the corner and tickets are selling fast. So please make sure to buy tickets for you and your family or friends if you haven't already, because you don't want to miss all the entertainment it offers. If you want to get tickets, go to showticksforyou.com slash events slash FHSTC. Now let's go to John and the Student Council to learn more about the upcoming Hoops for Hope fundraiser. Thanks, Catherine and Tegan. Hoops for Hope is a fundraiser raising money for pediatric cancer. It will take place during fourth block on Friday, April 21st. Each grade level will have a team competing to raise awareness for a different type of pediatric cancer. And the winning team will get to play against your teachers. Now over to a couple of members who are running the fundraiser to find out more. Hey, Freedom Family. My name is Jazzy and I'm your student body secretary. And my name is Tess and I'm your student body vice president. And we're here to talk to you about the Hoops for Hope basketball tournament that will be running in the main gym during fourth block on April 21st. To attend the game, you can buy a shirt during lunch for $10 that includes a ticket to the game and a chance to win a gift card. Each grade level will have a team competing to raise awareness for a type of pediatric cancer and the winning team will play against the faculty team. Hi everyone, we're the three coaches of the senior team. Our names are Cameron France, CJ Horvath, Josiah Peters, and we are representing brain cancer, which is on the gray color of our t-shirts. A little bit about brain cancer. Brain cancer occurs when the cells inside or near the brain fail to replicate correctly. The cells begin to form a, a mass in the brain, which causes a brain tumor. Brain cancer is the deadliest cancer for children in the United States. Nearly 5,000 children are diagnosed annual, annually, and nearly 30% of all children diagnosed with a brain tumor will die. Also, make sure you buy your shirts for your respective grade levels. See you at the game. Hello, everybody. I'm Nick. And I'm Michaela, and we're your junior class coaches. Leukemia is cancer of the blood, represented by the color orange of the cancer ribbons, and buy our shirts for the game. 
Leukemia is a cancer of the body's blood forming tissues, including bone marrow, that is caused by the rapid growth of abnormal white blood cells. Hi, I'm Bella. And I'm Ella, and the sophomores will be representing lymphoma, which is the cancer in the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is the body's disease-fighting system. It includes the lymph nodes, spleen, thymus gland, and bone marrow. Lymphoma is the third most common cancer in children. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma is way more common in children, while Hodgkin lymphoma is more common in adults. Hi, I'm Mia. And I'm Kate, and we're both freshman class officers representing sarcoma. Sarcoma is a type of cancer that occurs in bones and soft tissue, such as connective tissue and muscle. It is commonly caused by inheritance, mutations, and exposure to chemicals or radiation. Most cases of bone cancer are found within individuals between the ages of 10 and 30. We have a limited supply of shirts and they are first come first serve, but if you miss your chance to buy a shirt at lunch and you can still attend the game by buying a ticket from your fourth block teacher for $5. If you don't have a fourth block, you can purchase a ticket from Mrs. Kavaki in room 142. Come join us at Hoops for Hope and help us reach our goal of $6,000. Thank you to all the members who put this fundraiser together for such a great cause. Back to you, Catherine and Tegan. Thanks, John. Hoops for Hope sounds like a fun event for a worthwhile cause. Now let's see what the club news is for this week. Clubs this week should continue as usual, but check with your club advisors to make sure. Now let's head over to Connor and Jake for our Freedom Paid Sports update. Thanks, Catherine and Tegan. Welcome back to your Freedom Paid Sports update. I'm Connor Stefanik. And I'm Jacob Schweitzer. Before heading into the scores, we want to shout out softball catcher Brianna Cole for winning Morning Call Player of the Week just two weeks ago. Cole hit a home run against both Pleasant Valley and Nazareth to help softball improve to 5-0. Then, this past week, softball knocked off Emmaus 7-6, with freshman Brooke Rummel going 2-3 with two RBIs in the win. Our softball team currently sits at 6-0 and on top of the District 11 rankings. Our boys' tennis team remains undefeated at 9-0, rolling past all their opponents so far this season and sitting atop the District 11 rankings. Today, baseball and softball will both travel to Easton High School. Girls lacrosse will be away at Saucon Valley, while boys lacrosse will be home against Saucon Valley. Boys volleyball will be home against Whitehall. Tomorrow, boys tennis will be home against Northampton, and our track and field team will be at Nazareth. On Thursday, baseball and softball will play Liberty. Softball will be at home, and baseball will play at Coca-Cola Park. Boys volleyball will play at Easton. Boys lacrosse will be at Northampton, while girls lacrosse will be home against Northampton. Friday, boys tennis will be home against Moravian Academy and our track and field team will be at Palisades High School. And finally, on Saturday, boys lacrosse will be home against Methicton High School. Boys tennis will be at Bethlehem Catholic and baseball and softball will play against Northampton at home. The Freedom High School Athletic Banquet will take place on May 24th at 6 p.m. in the Freedom Main Gym. All athletes and families are invited. Check out me and John's podcast called Running Up the Score. It's out now on all podcast streaming platforms. Be sure to check out our Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. That's it for your Freedom Paid Sports update. Back to you, Catherine and Tegan. Thanks, Connor and Jake. Now let's head over to Allison, who is interviewing Alexis Luter from the Marketing Music Fest class. Thanks, guys. It's Allison. And as you all know, the time to enter the fame contest has come to a close. It's almost time to vote. I'm here with Alexis, who is here to give us more information. So what's the update? Thank you, Allison. So like she said, uh, the time for um, joining the competition has ended. So now it's time to get everybody together to vote. And how many people have entered this contest? So we do currently have eight people going against each other, single students and bands. And how do you vote? So um, in order to vote, you'll have to follow us on Instagram at FHS underscore at the fest. And on there, we're going to be posting um, the people going against each other. And we're, there's going to be an option to vote all on Instagram. And what's the deadline for voting? So it really just depends on how long it takes to get um, all the votes in. But it should be about mid-April. Wow. Thanks, Alexis. For all the information, make sure you go follow them on Instagram at FHS at the Fest to vote for your friends. I can't wait to hear what all the entries sound like. Back to you, Catherine and Tegan. Thanks, Allison and Alexis. Everyone, go make sure you vote. This is the second week of Autism Acceptance Month. We would like to start by highlighting Susan Boyle, who is a Scottish singer who became famous for auditioning for Britain's Got Talent. 
Susan has high functioning autism and faces challenges in her interactions with others. Some of her albums include I Dreamed a Dream, Standing Ovation, The Greatest Songs from the Stage, Home for Christmas Hope, A Wonderful World, and Ten. We will also be sharing the accomplishments of Dan Aykroyd, who is a Canadian actor, comedian, writer, producer, and musician. He was a writer and original member of Not Ready for Primetime Players cast on the NBC sketch comedy series Saturday Night Live. He struggles with high-functioning autism and experiences Tourette's. Before we say goodbye, we would like to remind you that there is only 45 days of school left for underclassmen and 36 left for seniors. We would like to thank you for joining us for another week. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at FHS Forum. Thank you all for tuning in and we hope you have a wonderful week. Bye! Bye.